Hi everybody, I'm uh, here to make you a free really quick video to show you guys how to do uh, how to actually create a transparent background on any image um, for free, okay? So first you're going to have to download GIMP. It's just GMU image manipulation uh, program here. It's a free software, just download it, okay? Uh, Mac, they have Mac versions, they have Windows versions, whatever. So for this instance, and I do apologize if I start talking fast, um, but you know I like to talk fast and then what you guys can do is you can catch up. You can either pause or um, you know, what have you, but uh, I'm going to talk fast and you can pause and rewind it if, if you miss a step or something. But the whole point of this is to show you guys that you can actually do this quite easily on any type of image. Um, so sometimes I get logos from clients and the logos themselves are displayed on, uh, if you take a look here, I'm going to actually, I'll show you one. Uh, we'll insert our logo that we just did. So this is the logo we received. And they said, Tyler, use this for the website. And uh, you know, there's no way that we can actually use that because look at the borders. We have a gray background on our website. So what I'm about to show you gave us this result. Completely removes the white background. Looks very professional, sleek. There's no edge issues. Uh, it looks great, OK? But I'm going to show you this instance uh, using a dog because dogs have hair. They don't have defined lines, so it's a little bit trickier. Um, so if whatever you can do using this type of image and this example, you can absolutely do using a logo as well. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our layer sections over here. All right. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we have an alpha layer. So you're going to right click, add alpha, alpha channel, I'm sorry. Once you do this, then we're going to duplicate this layer by clicking this button. Or you could right click and duplicate the layer this way. Doesn't matter. It does the same freaking thing. Okay. So now that we have two of these, we're going to, we now have a duplicate layer that we're going to be working with. Okay. So first you're going to go over to colors and you're going to click on desaturate. We're going to change this actually to luminosity. Click OK. Then we're going to go back into colors. Click on brightness slash contrast. Here's where you want to make a distinction between the foreground and the background, okay? So contrast, we want to pump that number up as much as we can. We want to make this dog pretty much just plain black, okay? This is actually perfect right here, 111. You could see that almost all of the dog is black, and you can see that you know there's a little bit of shadowing, um, but that's, that's perfect. That's what we want. We want more black. Um, that we can remove the shadowing on it. So we're going to click OK here. Then we're going to open up our pencil tool here. You want to make sure that your hardness is here, okay? You don't want blurred lines. You want a hard, distinctive pencil, all right? You can see that my pencil is kind of small. Uh, that's what she said. Just kidding. Sorry. Um, all right, so we're going to continue with this. Excuse my childish humor. Um, and we're going to increase the size of our pencil, and we're basically just... Actually, we're going to invert this because we want black first, right? So we're going to fill the dog in, make the dog all black. And excuse me if I am going over portions of the dog that aren't, that don't have white specks on them. I uh, have a bunch of fuzz on my screen I need to clean off, so sometimes it looks like there's white specks, but it's actually just my screen. So I do apologize for that. But you can see here, um, I'm not getting too picky. Uh, but I want to make sure that the dog is entirely black. Yep, that was fuzz right there. Sorry. Go into his leg here. Make sure that all of this is black. There goes your eyeball. See you later, buddy. Cute dog, though. All right. Now we're going to flip this, and we're going to use white. And we need to make sure that only the dog is black. So this, um, I forget. I actually didn't look at the image itself. Oop, that's too much. Um, yeah, okay, you can see that that is shadow, that's not his feet. Okay, perfect. Double check here. All right, so we go to about here. We'll reduce the size a bit because that's a very large pencil to be working with there. And we're just going to get rid of the shadow. We want to make sure that only the dog is black. Whatever you're trying to make as the foreground here is what needs to be shown in black. Everything else needs to be white, okay? That's how this works. 
main objects black, background white. Please excuse me for the silence. I wish I had some awesome music for you guys, but I currently am not going to take the time out of my day to pick a soundtrack for this video because we are almost done. All right. And again, folks, this does not have to be perfect. Um, your lines are going to come out great. Uh, and again, with a dog and all of his hair, it's going to be very, very difficult to do and get it exactly. I'm going to reduce his pencil size to make sure I can get all of this shadow out of here. I don't want to chop off the dog's legs, though. All right. So now we're done. I got all that done. Let's check and see. He looks good to go. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that there's no spots that I'm missing here. And yeah, okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our color section right, right here, okay? We're going to press invert. Look at that. So you can see, again, all black and all white. I probably missed a spot here on his back leg, but that's, uh, that's going to be okay. Um, now we're going to go to our main image over here, our main layer, and we're going to click on layer, mask, oops, don't click on mask, click on add layer mask. And we're gonna do white full opacity. All right, so it creates a layer on top of there. We're gonna go back over here and we're going to copy this layer. Copy, come over to here, paste. And we're gonna hide this. Voila! That's a happy pupper. So you can see here that I did miss a little bit of the white background. Um, so you can just undo that meta, that masking if you wanted to, um, but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. So now that we have uh, this created here, uh, we're going to right click and we're gonna do new layer from visible. There's our layer, so we can delete all this. Delete and delete. And here we have it, folks. There is our background. So you want to make sure that you export it as a PNG. It will not work if you do not do that. Select our desktop here. This is just going to be a test. And that's going to be PNG. Okay. I have severe OCD, so I like to click it both times. Export. <laughs> Don't worry about any of those. You can reduce the compression level if you'd like to, but it's not necessary in this case. So now we have it compressed, right? I'm gonna go over here, insert picture from file. Downloads, this was our traditional image that we started out with, right? It had a background, had a shadow, and had a cute pupper. This is our final product here. Test, save, look at that. There's a happy doggo marching around waiting for some treats. All right guys, so that's the final product. Um, again, it's very, very easy to do and just follow those steps. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. If you have questions, please let me know. But um, that's the easiest way to do it and it's free and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.